Hey, what is going on guys? In this video, I'm really excited to show you how it is that you can get all the stock data that you need without having to copy paste or waste time doing other ineffective methods. This way you can get it all on your Google Sheet or Excel spreadsheet very, very quickly using Y Sheets. Before I jump into the actual tutorial, it is very important for you to know that in order to be able to access some of the things that I'm about to show you, you need a Ysheets account. So all you have to do is go to Ysheets.io. From here, you're gonna be able to create a free trial account. And then after that, all you have to do is select whether you wanna use Excel or Google Sheets, download the add-in on either one of the stores, and log in with the account that you created. When you first start using Y Sheets, the first thing that you will see is the statement dump menu. The great thing about statement dump is that all you have to do is enter the company ticker or company name into the search bar, select the company and then annual or quarterly data. And then you also have the option to choose standardized financials or SEC as reported financials. Standardized financials is what we recommend because these financials are actually standardized, which means you can compare the results across many different companies. Whereas the SEC has reported financials is how the company reported the financials to the SEC, but they may not be as easy to compare with other companies. After you select this, all you have to do is click on get data. And as you can see, very simply what this will do is bring you the income statement, the balance sheet, the cash flow statement, key metrics, and growth metrics for the company that you selected. One cool thing that you can do to help with your historical stock analysis is to add a column and then select a spark link like I'm showing you right now. What this will enable you to do is to get a very good idea of the historical trend of that particular item of the financial statement or key metric. And that just makes it so much easier for you to visualize how the company is performing across different metrics or items of the financial statements. Now, the great thing about Y Sheets is obviously that we not only offer the option to get the data all at once, but all this data is available for thousands upon thousands of companies across 50 plus exchanges. So the great thing is that you can use the WISE function and what this function enables you to do is to get any specific data point that you like, which means that you're free to build any type of financial analysis model, DCF, valuation model, company comparison model, all without having to copy paste a single piece of data and being able to get all the data you need very quickly. All you need for the function to work is the symbol, parameter, year, and the quarter is optional. So let's say I want to get the key metrics for two companies. What I can do very easily is to copy paste all the key metrics into a brand new spreadsheet tab. Then all you have to do is use the WISE function where you enter the company ticker, in this case Apple. Then you enter the parameter, so in this case it's going to be the ROE. And lastly the year or period. So in this case I'm going to use TTM but I could also use a specific year like 2020. The great thing about this function is that you don't have to enter those parameters in text, but you can reference cells that contain that text within those cells. The main thing to remember is that if you add spaces or change the capitalization of the letters, it does not matter as long as the spelling is exactly the same. Then if you lock in the cells properly, like I'm showing you right now with the dollar signs, you're able to drag that formula so you get all of this data in one go. As you can see, getting this data was very simple and now that it's set up, you can easily just change the company ticker and get all of the data you need very quickly. When it comes to entering the ticker, particularly for international exchanges outside of the US, what you can do is use the statement dump search and just type the company name and that will tell you what the ticker of the company is, as well as the extension if it's an international stock. For example, Talos is a Canadian company and as you can see, it gives you the ticker and the extension which in this case is .to. When it comes to periods, the WISE function is quite flexible. You can enter specific period like 2021 or you can also enter TTM which gives you the trailing 12 months of data, LY which gives you the latest fiscal year of data and LQ which gives you the latest quarter of data available. 
as it was mentioned before the quarterly is optional but if you do want to access quarterly data all you have to do is enter a year like for example 2020 and then select the quarter of that year that you're looking to get the data from for example q2 now if you're looking to get multiple data points at once the great thing about the wise function is that instead of entering a single parameter you can enter all of these parameters at once and you can also enter multiple years this allows you to get a lot more stock data more efficiently Altogether, with the wise function we've seen our users being able to build some amazing models as you can see this is a dcf that basically automates the whole process where it gets you all the data you need and all you have to do is change the assumptions like the growth assumptions or simply the company ticker and you'll see how everything is automatically populated for you now that you know how you can get historical fundamental data as well as key metrics let's move on to how you can get real-time stock data on your excel or google sheet spreadsheet the best way to get real-time data is to use the wise price function and this function is very simple all you have to do is enter a ticker or a range of tickers as well as the parameter or parameters that you're looking to get data from you can see on the screen the different parameters that are available for the function so what you can do is get a list of tickers like i'm showing you right now select the parameters you like to get and then you could either make individual function calls and drag the formula across like i showed you before or you can enter a range of tickers and a range of parameters all at once and get all of the data in one single function the best part about this is that you can simply press the refresh button on the wise price menu or you can go on the cell and click enter to be able to refresh it and get the latest data available as you can see with the power of the wise and wise price functions you can build some really cool stuff such as stock watch list dcfs valuation models and whatnot all of this without having to copy paste any data at all which allows you to analyze companies a lot faster and make better investment decisions if you have any questions or feedback about Y sheets make sure to leave it in the comments and we would really appreciate if you could share this with a friend that you think would benefit from using Y sheets and stay tuned for more content that we we're going to be creating on how it is that you can make better stock investment decisions in less time see you later